how do you manage risk in new acquisition in this late economic cycle? We manage risk two ways. One, we want to make sure that we're buying uh, the best assets uh, in the market, uh, typically assets that are, have been built within the last five years, preferably something that has just come out of the ground uh, that's in the lease-up phase. We see that, we believe that provides us with uh, the lowest operational risk. Typically, these types of assets will have rents that are below the market, which gives us a bit of insulation in the event of an economic downturn, because if the market as a whole needs to reduce rents, we're already below market. So the competitive set is going to be forced to reduce rents before we might before we would have to. And there's a greater ability that we can even still raise rents a little bit, even uh, while the rest of the market is, is um, reducing rents. The second way we manage risk is with our debt structure. We are at 65% LTV. We don't go above that. Uh, we don't use any uh, preferred equity. We don't use any mezzanine debt. So it's a very simple capital structure with no financial engineering. And uh, another thing to consider is you also do not want to put yourself in the position where uh, down the road you're looking to sell the property and you have uh, you know, large yield maintenance penalty. So we avoid that by using floating rate debt with the rate cap that we can pay, that we can pay off at any time with a 1% prepayment penalty. So that's typically how we're managing risk in multifamily given where we are in the cycle. So what type of returns that you are targeting and to what extent does financial engineering impact those returns? The fi financial engineering does not impact those returns at all because we're limiting our leverage at 65% LTV. Um, through our 25 year history, we've generated uh, internal rates of return over 25%. In this stage of the market, our investments are mainly for capital preservation with a strong risk adjusted yield. Uh, and so we're targeting returns between 14 and 16% IRR right now. And this is on newer, high quality assets, best in market, that provides investors with a very, um, very conservative uh, asset that should be able to perform through a downturn. So we know the multifamily real estate is quite a, quite a quality space. Would you mind sharing with us how, does, how your firm um, continue to be successful in finding suitable acquisition that resulted in those type of returns that you are targeting? You know, it's a relationship. It's all about relationships. You know, we uh, are the type of firm that uh, we never put a deal under contract that we can't close. Uh, we never have our money go number fundable in the deal and us not close. When we go through our due diligence process, we're very upfront with sellers on what they can expect from us. If an issue comes up, we address that issue immediately. We don't wait until the end of the due diligence period. That builds us a lot of goodwill uh, with the seller and with the broker. And so because of that, we're often on a short list of groups that are contacted whenever there are off-market opportunities or um, unique op opportunities to buy deals before they go through a full marketing process. And that's one of the reasons why we've been able to uh, find the types of deals uh, that we have and we're taking them down before they typically go to market. Thank you for sharing with us, Ben. Thank you. You're welcome.